it's just me or every time you see like a little square of cardboard like that you go like is that acid <laughs> <laughs> i wish man i what? wish i don't this know is, this is not the household that stores acid oh it doesn't store it. no 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 okay. no it, it would immediately go either into me or somebody yeah. else because you'd be out on the street just throwing it in like, oh, yeah. ladies I'm a, faces I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very no just any general direction of any face okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a i'm a acid thrower yeah uh, what are they called? Um, is that universal uh, offender? Is that some offender. acid reflux? <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> banging on all cylinders. Uh, damn, damn! <laughs> really good, really good. <laughs> oh, you're impressed by that? Oh, you should see what comes next. I'm not impressed, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just happy. That's all. <laughs> all right. Because the pun is uh, yeah. uh, the, the 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 viola of the comedy scene. Yeah. So that's is that like the worst instrument because <laughs> you would have been like piano, violin. Yeah, no, the, yeah, you, you, know. could, you could do all the cool instruments. Yeah. You could play the the bass, for example. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. that the double bass. Yeah, even double bass yeah, is yeah. better. Even though is, is double bass like when acid reflux goes out <laughs> the other end? <laughs> um, uh, yes, and <laughs> see, we and, peaked so and soon. if you and you if you do that during yeah. a festival, then it's double bass jumping. Oh, yeah. But now, you, if you fart and jump at the same time, that's like a call for help. Yeah, you are at a festival doing acid. Th that's already a call for help. Yeah, but you're, if you're farting and that's in, in mid-jump, like you're farting and your asshole is open as you hit the ground. Right. Yeah, uh, it shakes them loose. Yeah, yeah you, you get some... You get yeah. some the slot machine cashes out. That's, that's how you used to get the ketchup out of a glass bottle. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> see we are old enough to get that reference yeah that that's the crazy thing like my, my brother is 10 years younger than me yeah he doesn't know the bane of glass bottle ketchup he just knows bane from batman <laughs> and only the cool new one yeah he doesn't even know the old shitty one with with uh, I, I think without tom with arnold schwarzenegger bane hmm? would have been just banned arnold schwarzenegger was not bane he was, no, uh, but he was mr freeze yeah but it's the same movie and he's first what? build. It's not a Batman movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger's top build in yeah. that movie. Yeah. So it's a it's it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ergo, I'm not saying it's a Batman movie. I'm saying it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger flick. Is it because he's Austrian? No, because he's top build. Yeah, but you know this kind of stuff because he's Austrian. <laughs> I will. I no, will have. Cared I know for those that. things because I'm a cinema nerd. <laughs> To a certain degree, an Austrian cinema nerd. Oh yes, I, I, no, no. I have a, you know, like I have a bachelor's degree in right. in general film theory. Okay, and then a master's degree in Austrian <laughs> cinema. No, oh, I don't. Fuck. But that, oh. if you you would grade my nerd them, I, I was thinking how how much professionalism does <laughs> unemployment need? <laughs> <laughs> this this is what Austrian <laughs> overeducation looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has three titles, but he can't get a fucking job. All right, if anyone is watching this, support mm -hmm. this man because in the past, people uh, artists who have not <laughs> <laughs> Austrian artists who are, who are unsupported. I, yeah. That's the crazy thing. Like every time they they cut down the the, the funds programs, you know, yeah. I'm like, are you trying to create a new Hitler? Because that's how you get a new Hitler. A creative guy who who has to focus his his manic energy somewhere else. That's weird. You have funds here for art. Art should, <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't have support like that. Art should struggle. Uh huh. Because yes. if it's good, it yeah, will come it, to it, the it, surface. It, it, it still struggles. It's just yeah. slightly less of a struggle. Yeah, that's that's because that's, everything here is slightly less of a struggle. That's how Hitler started <laughs> with slightly less yeah. of a struggle. And if anyone is that doing was his original title for Mein Kampf, <laughs> slightly less of a struggle. Do, do you think someone <laughs> is, is doing like a bingo for your uh, show? <laughs> oh, definitely. As oh, definitely. This is already how bingo. soon are they going to mention Hitler? We're in, we're in episode two. We definitely already have a bingo game. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Who was the first episode? Huh? Grant Gallagher. Oh, okay. He's a nice guy. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> Pass. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, okay. The, you're, yeah, 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 he's all right. I yeah. like that. You're signing yeah. off on that character? He's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I mean, he... he I think Unlike Hitler, who is <laughs> he's a meanie. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> see, that's, that's the... Uh, I yeah. don't know. But, okay, first of all, let me introduce this episode, maybe. And you. 
How about that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, it would be nice, right? If yeah. I say your name. Okay. Yeah. So should I do the Austrian or the Austrian trying to be inclusive it's, voice? It's, it's your show. I'm just here. To, I'm, a, I'm a guest. <laughs> so welcome to Paul's Palava Paradise episode two. Yeah. My name today is... <laughs> you're getting so uncomfortable already. <laughs> you're like... You have like genetic flashbacks yeah. to 45. <laughs> I can hear it in my goose stepping in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a pleasurable time we have here. And our guest yeah. today is Viktor uh, mm -hmm. Patrashkan. Yes. Uh, Patrashkan. Yeah. Pat it's a nightmare for people already done the... Uh, as as can joke trash can trash can ah, that, that's that's as can clearer. does not make, it make sense but trash no as can is, is funny in my mind yeah, yeah. a trash can is just a trash can that's a useful item yeah an as can sounds very useless yeah but i'm already grossing out the people at, <laughs> at the introduction <laughs> trash can seems more uh, worldly oh yeah 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 you've seen an, a trash can before yeah. you haven't seen an ass can mm. before well, uh, I don't know if we can mention that on this show. What? That you have seen on Ask? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. If, if you Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Lemon Party? Huh? No, it's... Uh, it's uh, <laughs> oh, it's shit, from the it? Whoop Ass uh, oh. collection. Whoop Ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A can of Whoop Ass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And oh. then <laughs> you have Ass cans right. as well. as, ah. But they're like, uh, you know, like uh, uh, store... Uh, store uh, store brands, you know, like little they would make ass cans. Yeah, that, okay, the, the, their own the version of whoop ass. Whoopi, whoopi can. Yeah, can of whoop ass. Okay, okay. Not a whoopee cushion. That's yeah. a different thing. Is it the same flavor and it just costs very very percent less? Or oh yeah, it's uh, it's similar flavorings, but of course the the little ones they use like knockoff flavoring. Ah okay. Yeah yeah. 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 So it is a cheaper. Yes. Not yeah. Instead of uh, lemongrass, they use lemon. Ah okay. You yeah, know that okay. kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you you get what you buy. If you if you enter a little, I mean, every little helps. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I, it's not their slogan. I, I, it's Tesco's yeah, yeah, little ex uh, expectations <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Keep your keep your Expe expectations nation. the same way as your budget. Little low, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little low. No spar, uh, <laughs> spar on every corner. Is that the slogan? Uh, the slogan. What what does Spar have? Oh, I have actually. You know, what's really surprising for me that hmm. there is a Spar in uh, Mozart's house. I went to Salzburg right. and there is a supermarket on the R bottom floor. Yep. And yep. it's not like a supermarket that sells like little violins. They just fucking sell ham <laughs> and cheese and yeah, hummus. yeah. It's a, just a regular S Spa. Yeah. No, the, it, it's been it's been a battle since the nineties between just two giant corporations yeah and to take over the, that space and and, and the, yeah and and every space in austria yeah. and the collateral damage is that we get the fucking spa in 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 mozart's house yeah we probably oh no we definitely have a biller now in up in the buvok building which doesn't make any sense that they i don't even know what building who they, was they, born they, here they, they basically there. are in charge of all the public housing projects and they have to they oh, right. refurbish the 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 building yeah. and then in the process they apparently were forced to put a giant ass little a uh, giant ass pillar in the in the in the in the in the entrance hall all right yeah wasn't there before it was just the building that was in charge of public housing in classic old socialist project now capitalism has that infected too, literally in front of our ass. Who's your target audience for the show? <laughs> uh, me. <laughs> Who do you me. imagine is going to watch this? Me. me. I'm going to watch this. <laughs> While you edit it. Li literally, I am going <laughs> to yeah. watch this the most. <laughs> Out of all the people that are going to watch this. Yeah. I, 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 maybe you have some devoted fans. Do you have devoted fans? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I have fans before the show. They go right. like, "Oh, this is so exciting! You came to our town!" And then they watch the right. show and they go like, "We're not fans no more." Yeah, don't mm, come yeah. back here no more. Yeah, <laughs> do while they load the Pitch shotgun force. five times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they kind yeah. of? Oh yeah, yeah. They kind of for shotguns, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they come uh, with uh, with torches because they think uh, that I'm um, uh, Eastern European, and uh, uh, I don't respond well to like technology. Right, you wouldn't know what the shotgun is. No, no, no. no. Like it's, it's a, like it's the, 
A musket. They do musket stuff. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, with with the felt. I mean, a shotgun just looks put to, it inside. To, to, to somebody who seen a musket. Yeah. A shotgun just looks like a double, a double musket. musket. Yeah. So that's just a ball and musket. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one where All you right. can miss once. It's I, a great feature. So not only yeah. we started talking about Hitler, now we're talking about ways of exterminating people. This is... <laughs> I mean, that's what the British did for the longest time, and you stayed there for a long this time. This is exactly what I imagined this was going to be like. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I don't know why you, you're surprised right <laughs> Let's now. Let's talk about how uh, the, the government is trying to vaccinate people. <laughs> oh, I hope <laughs> they would start that finally. Huh? But they are already vaccinating no, people. We're all a, getting like the polio vaccine and children get all sorts yeah, of like... Yeah, but those are not super mandatory. You can still get around some of those. Yeah, and there's like outbreaks of polio in 2019 in Romania yeah, because... <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, polio. <laughs> it's old school, man. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's those fucking hipsters that like grew up in the 90s and 2000s and we're like, oh, we're postmodern and uh, we're, we're like, uh, what is it called? Like post, post ironic. Yeah. You know, that whole ironic. shit that, yeah, in the end, again, yeah. just ironic, but they don't know, they're not self-aware enough and then they do shit like that, you know? But post-communist uh, hipsters are actually the communists. <laughs> Right, because that's what hipsters yeah. are nowadays. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like they're, modern they're communists. Like, they, 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 buy, they buy the blanket that is filled with um, asbestos because it's old school. Yeah. And it's made in Russia. If they knew what kind of clothes my mom wore in the factory where she worked when she was young, mm. they'd love that kind of stuff and wear it. Like, what kind of work was your mom into? Just in a chemical factory. Oh, Jesus Christ. In, in Romania. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was hoping paper. like for machining. You know, that's what my... I was hoping like, she, in a ladder factory or something like that. They don't make ladders in Romania. There was no external ladder? No, we make Dacias. Ah. You remember Dacia? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I love a good Dacia. Yeah. 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 Uh, so they make that. But uh, my mom, uh, in my hometown, they used to make paper and uh, like chemical... Um, uh, you know the the thing that they make IEDs from? Improv fertilizer improvised. Bombs? Yes. Fertilizer. Yeah. That's what they make. Okay. Yeah. The, I don't know so if people... They well, don't the, make the... The base material for yeah, bombs. Yeah. 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 Nitrogen. It, if it, you want to call it, it that. It's it's all nitrogen based. Yeah. yeah. Because that's... Yeah. German Jew came up with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> During the First World War, because they ran out, literally <laughs> were like running out of bullets. Yeah. And it wasn't the metal. They had enough metal, but they couldn't mm -hmm. make enough nitrogen. And the like modern process of like generating nitrogen is was invented during that time by, by a German Jew. And did you read this in the updated version of the Wandering Jew? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's it's, it's a, because it was like super. Tra it's a super tragic story because he was uh, incredibly, incredibly nationalistic. Like oh. he loved Germany. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing, For all its faults. He, yeah, yeah. No, he was like he was a German first and a Jew second. Was he basically. an Uncle Sam? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. But with bombs <laughs> instead of slavery. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you you make do with whatever yeah, exactly. you have around yeah, yeah, you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. When you're grasping at stra yeah. straws, <laughs> that's that's why they got where they are now. Just uh, <laughs> thinking on their feet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you get beaten down, the <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> do you brought this stuff up, man. Mm. I'm just alley whooping. <laughs> no, I'm 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 bringing all of this on, on yeah. to myself. No, no. I see. I like to have my cancellation done by myself okay i don't want to get cancelled by somebody else <laughs> you need the career first don't worry oh, yeah, about that's it true. that's true no that's fair that's absolutely yeah. fair no no <laughs> <laughs> i think i i'm i am a i am a, um how should i say a, a, a comedy enthusiast first and then a All comedian right. What uh, uh, I don't remember if we spoke about this uh, yeah. earlier, but I really find it interesting to ask people what their top five is, right? Because everyone has their own, yeah. and uh, uh, I find interesting the, the the things that are in common with most other comedians, mm. but also like the niche things that you personally enjoy. Yeah. So for our listeners here, yeah, let's make it interesting. Second episode: What's your top five comedians ever? This is the Victor is the better host segment. Again, Bill Burr is definitely up there. It's it's really hard to like rate rank the top five like 
as like a clear top but five. This like is your favorite top, ones, top. the ones that you yeah, feel yeah. them. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Definitely, definitely him. Uh, yeah. He's is up there. Like every 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 special had me at least cry laughing once, yeah. and that's a good metric I think for yeah. being in the top five, because there's like uh, like people like T.J. Miller, for example, mm-hmm. who had one or two good specials yeah like really good specials and then everything else was meandering you know so that's i just so it's again an austrian thing i want to explain to the audience the metric i'm measuring my own top five with so that they can so this is explaining it to yourself for later viewing yes again i'm just talking to myself (laughs) again yes i know it is very sad (laughs) it is it is is thank you for bringing me into this it is weird that it is an externalization of what my head looks like anyways yeah it's just instead of having you just as a manifestation of myself in my brain you're just physically here now unfortunately yeah i know (laughs) i forced (laughs) you to be here i know i'm i am very 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 sorry <laughs> as a, all right as an austrian to to force a romanian to do anything feels wrong you know no don't don't worry we did it uh, we did it by ourselves uh, oh, yeah. you know we just needed a nudge <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's true that's true yeah. you 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 were on board immediately <laughs> oh yeah, yeah too soon actually yeah yeah they, yeah, yeah you, you are, were they, com- are, are they using the like the nazi font on it <laughs> <laughs> no because the nazis so, like so brought in a font yeah, right? yeah and i know, that's I know the what nazi font. no that's the fu- funny thing this is actually the font that hitler despised really yeah yeah because they so there there's there's two typefaces that are extremely similar yeah but one of them he said was like impregnated by jewish uncleanliness oh okay yeah classic classic yeah. main man hits you know Best, that's off, on his best off track, you know, stuff <laughs> like that. You know, that's on his top 20. All right. So yeah. this is not the and one that he liked. And, yeah, exactly. That's the one that he And hated. do you think that's why they used it on this beer? No, I think they used it since before the war broke out and since like 300 years, basically. I did, I did, how old is that beer? It's, it is like 350 years. Uh, Stiegel is really? Yeah, probably. Yeah, they're probably like wow. 350. Because I mean, Otterkringer exists now for 1837, and that's a that's a mass that was like one of the first like factory from the ground up brewer- breweries. Yeah. I mean, we we came up with the lager. The yeah. lager is an Austrian invention. Oh my god! So you're not yeah. just a pretty face. <laughs> yeah, there's brains behind that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so so yeah. What we were talking before we got sidetracked top, top five. by the Third Reich. Top five. Uh, Top five, yeah. Yeah, sidetrack by the third rack sounds yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like an album. So, uh, first of all, yeah. yes, <laughs> Rammstein's B side. <laughs> 99 Luftwaffe. <laughs> Luftwaffe. Uh, yeah. My favorite, my favorite word in the English language. What? Luftwaffe. Luftwaffle. Yeah, because that was their joke word for the Luftwaffe, because they didn't know that Waffe meant weapon. No. Oh. So they just. That's a bad joke. They just made it to waffle. Yeah. It's like uh, there's a joke waffle. in the 2,000-year-old man, you know, Mel Brooks and Carl Reiner. Holy shit, deep cut, but nice. Yeah. Uh, I think Carl Reiner asked Mel about uh, uh, the the Nazis. And Mel yeah. goes like, do you mean the Nazis? <laughs> and I'm like, oh. And then they go for like a few minutes on that joke. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, come on, you're better than this. <laughs> the Nazis? I mean, for the time, it was an edgy joke. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a stupid word, like yeah, Nazi misunderstanding. I think that was <laughs> the guy who makes springtime for Hitler. Yeah, I know. Could I only know. come up with the Nazis. I think he ran out. That's the problem. Of jokes. Yeah, Nazi. Yeah. He ran out of Nazi. He was all tapped out. Yeah, he should go to Switzerland and yeah. see his grandfather's jokes <laughs> <laughs> are still there. <laughs> In the basement, he finds like a joke book. You know what? Those are amazing. You know what's interesting about uh, Mel? I was listening mm. to to an interview of him, and uh, I think it was probably like Charlie Rose or uh, like Larry King asking him about his experience in the Second World War, and he was saying that he didn't know about the camps because right. he he was on the you know, of course he was an American, you know, yeah. he came to Europe. Uh, and he didn't know about the camps because he was like, man, if I knew during the war, you, you would have gone crazy. Yeah. But that really put into perspective a side of the world that now is 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 strange that it's understood in one way. The the fact that most 
people didn't know about it. My elaborate guess here, obviously, is the Americans didn't want to put too many like fingers on those camps because some of the scientists that, that worked there were yeah. like put in, also, in, yeah. in Operation Paperclip. They were mm -hmm. like just taken away with it mm -hmm. with them. so i'm guessing i mean they they, they actively like distorted history yeah. because they didn't want the russian effort to be properly shown yeah so they let the fucking generals after the nuremberg trials they just the, the ones that got acquitted mm -hmm. they just let them write biographies and then let them publish it but no it's fucking insane it feels like now the the second world war is put in the context uh where People uh, fought at the time to save the Jewish people from oh, the Oh, no, no, the, no. That, yeah, that's also, a, that's also a distortion of history. But they yeah, didn't yeah. know at the time. Yeah, yeah, but that's... that's what So just, they're just fighting like a, a guy who is trying to take over Britain, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and the rest of the world. Yeah, well, you know, you go to Every Russia... Every fascist has the tendency, yeah. you know. But you know what I mean? It's, it's a different thing. <laughs> if Ceausescu had any good tanks... He would have tried at least to take over Greece, you yeah, know. <laughs> but it's it's a lead up to a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, go. go. <laughs> the, to me, the joke feels like uh, if a cop d d stops you uh, for a broken taillight, mm -hmm. but they find a dead hooker in the trunk. Right. They didn't know about the dead hooker. Yeah, yeah. You already. But it was just yeah, yeah. a lucky accident. <laughs> I love that you. Caused the Second World War. <laughs> it's yeah. a broken tail. Yeah. <laughs> and the Jewish people's <laughs> massacre is a hook in the trunk. Hey man, this is a metaphor. It doesn't. No, no, no. It's a really good metaphor. I Thank love you. it because it is a ramp up in yeah. insanity, definitely. Yeah. Because wars have been fought before that, but. But not a just war, because this is presented like other yes. wars were put in the context that, oh, we need to intervene because look how good it was in the Second World War yeah. that we intervened. I mean, everybody in the US, like, it's, it's so hard, it's, except for those people that, like, try to educate themselves there. Like, the fact that a good chunk of the Americans were pro fascist because fascists were. Anti-communists, anti yeah. like that fact alone, and that like Charles Lindbergh was a fascist. They were like Nazi, uh, uh, like uh, um, he was like a like a he, he talked a, a punch to the yeah, to yeah, the yeah. Germans. Yeah, like, yeah. There's, like, there's all sorts of photos from yeah. London in New York of like Nazi meetings yeah. and all sorts of like yeah. speeches. Yeah, yeah. pro-fascism was like a the cool new thing yeah, back yeah. then. Yeah. In a lot of countries. And it just turns out to that we were the more damaged ones after the First World War. And it was a richer soil on which to grow. Because... I mean, you, if you the Americans <laughs> lost the First World War, uh, they would have turned fascist. Well, uh, you know, it, it took them a while, but I think they're there oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> now yeah. now we're... And finally, yeah. that arduous process... Isn't it sweet that <laughs> all the, the Western countries are discovering fascism and communism now, a hundred years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how about a universal basic income? Yeah. How about how about everybody has a living wage? How like th <laughs> this? This was how a thing. How about that person that is uh, disabled and homeless? How about he's not homeless? This is a thing that I heard in Berlin. Uh, like someone recommend. Yeah. Like of course, Berlin is like great, uh, great scene, really cool people. Yeah. But some of them are fucking nuts. Right. I, I heard I someone mean, that's, say that's any million, multi million that because of the Black Lives Matter movement, every show should have a black person on the side just to check if everything is according to the that's literally mentality. only possible to like, that's communism that's what communism <laughs> did in I every mean, factory there was a guy yes, a right. communist guy go uh, seeing if, if i know i know like what the, you mean the yeah. ball bearings are made according to yeah, a yeah. communist uh, idea right that's yeah. that's <laughs> the end of the story <laughs> it i mean that's 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 crazy yeah but also the only like german speaking city that is like from a from a from a like a perspective of like uh i don't know logistics mm -hmm. it's the only city where that is possible to have communism and fascism no you have enough black guys yeah <laughs> like do try that in salzburg 
<laughs> I have a friend. You have to shut down every single show. I, I have a friend from London who everywhere does, he does goes, Turkish he counts, counts the black people. Huh? I have a friend yeah. from London. He counts the black people everywhere he visits. <laughs> Is he black? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. If then. it's under ten, he's, he's like, out of there. Yeah, he leaves <laughs> pretty quickly. But if he finds more than ten, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, um, we will never know that pain as white people, you know. Because we don't go to Africa <laughs> <laughs> no, to no. count the whites. No, <laughs> no, I, I, I'm saying uh, oppression by the state in that form. You know, uh, based on your skin color. We we don't we we've never felt that pain. I yeah. didn't ever. Yeah. At least you know, yeah. I was in China. They treated me like a fucking king there. Totally not that because uh, like the skin color is like a thing that you see someone just coming into the room. You, yeah. you, you already know. You don't know where they're from, what right. nationality they are, what kind of passport. Mm. But then the second tier for that is the passport, mm-hmm. the name, the accent, right. the place where the people really come from. Right. So uh, I had that, but of course, never had like the, the, mm. the, the visual. That's the problem. The, the visual. Yeah. For, for me, like racism is really fascinating, obviously, mm-hmm. because it's so dumb. stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb in the first place. Yeah. But also like the detail... Smart yeah. people back in the day went into to like just still justify like their own benefits yeah. from racism yeah. is is really astounding and and it especially like I don't know do do Romanians have like a for example a a, a specific kind of racism towards Italians for example no gypsies oh it's just the gypsies yeah because uh uh gypsies live there. Let's call them Roma and or Sinti. I don't know or Gypsies. What what uh, whatever you. We're we're talking about the, the same group of people. Yeah, yeah, it's all the same. I know, yeah. I know. But, but the Roma Gypsies. At, at least in Austria, Gypsy actually became like a like a uh, an N word. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, because no. we treated them also horrendously. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's go to Romania now. It's it's exactly like that. Like I was yeah. talking to someone that came to the show like a few days ago. Mm-hmm. Romanian, of course. Right. And they were talking, yeah, 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 you, you're talking about racism and how that's not right, but gypsies, that's a different thing. And I was like, <laughs> are you retarded? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and I asked her, I asked that's her this. Insane. Yeah. That's insane. See, it's, it's fascinating how much people can compartmentalize, mm-hmm. like, issues. And I asked her, like, th- have you ever seen, like, films from, uh, like, with stories from the 50s and the 60s in the United States? And yeah. she was like, yeah. And what what's the difference? And it's like, well, you don't get it, man. Yeah, it's they're like, just different. They're not yeah. human. It's exactly yeah, yeah. the same thing, yeah. right? It's it's based on skin color. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it's it causes problems. Of course, there are problems. Yeah. yeah. No, but I they're mean, caused I mean, by this cyclical. Yeah. Like, At least in Austria, attitude. like the, the 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 most egregious thing uh, was obviously we had uh, um, an, an, a crazy person in the nineties that did some letter bombings. Yeah. And one of the things was like he attacked uh, Roma oh people. God. Yeah. And since then, at least, like, at least the the people can't like outwardly anymore be like. Oh, in Romania, aim, it's like it's, at, on at, it's on TV. It's on TV. It's like I heard like one 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 of my like, I mean, that, that, like philosophers see, in that, Romania that, that puts, talk about gypsies and I'm like dude are you fucking serious that puts that puts uh, me watching Romanian TV when I was 14 into a completely new context let me put this into context because I didn't understand okay. obviously any words yeah it was just shooting a bunch of like poor people so I'm guessing yeah. it was just like a propaganda movie basically the, the Roma gypsy population used to be slaves until right. uh, uh, until slavery was abolished in the I think it, in the 1800s, there are stories about gypsies uh, uh, traveling through villages naked because they took okay. all, everything from right. them when they uh, got uh, yeah. released them and made them you know oh, free. Free means just your body is free, not yeah. the things not that the you work for. Not not like your shirt or, or the, the trousers the labor yeah. or whatever. <laughs> so that's the situation. So it's 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 literally the the. Um, the, the the Oliver scene of can I have a little yeah. bit more please yeah, yeah. but here's here's the <laughs> other thing because uh, we're talking about the films and stuff yeah uh, the f- I think the like uh, the slavery of the Roma gypsies was mentioned they say that it was mentioned in this film in the twenties that got lost mm-hmm. so there's no proof of it existing anymore 
Probably or... a gypsy stole it. <laughs> That's <quite> funny. Uh, <laughs> melted it and made it into a pot. Yeah. <laughs> made it into something useful. Yeah. <laughs> but the first time uh, that still survives where uh, the Roma gypsies are mentioned as being former slaves mm-hmm. is in a film that came out three or four years ago. Oh, wow. First time. That's, I mean, that's progress, technically. Yeah. Technically, that's progress. It's the same thing with in Austria with like uh, gay marriage, for example. Yeah, took forever. We got it. We now have it. Yeah, it's finally on the same level because we did that shitty thing where we did the whole halfway thing. Yeah, we're not gonna call it marriage. Yeah, it's gonna have nearly all the features of a marriage, but it's still second class citizenship. It is different, though. I feel like everyone, uh, every move, new movement that is comparing, probably like the feminist movement is the yeah. only one that's comparable because the problem with racism is it visual. You don't know yes. who's gay if they don't tell you, right? Like there that's are, fair. yes, uh, there are outwardly gay people, but they, oh yeah, 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 but they they feel do safe th- enough they, or they, yeah. want to finally be recognized. Yeah, they yes. do that because they want to be recognized by people as as being gay. Yeah. Uh, th- that's how they feel. It's just yeah, whatever yeah. they want. There's do. a myriad of reasons. But yeah. you can you there's been gay people like forever. Forever. Literally forever. But no one knew. Because yes. if you don't say it to anyone, yeah. you know, people I mean, just find out <laughs> if you have relations with someone else. The but Greek people knew it's, and, the, yeah. and the Turkish people knew. But it, you know what I mean? Years ago, it's it's like the second type of uh, of um, oh yeah, uh, yeah prejudice. Yes, right. Yes, it's you, it needs to be discovered. Yes, but with women, you know, when a woman enters the room, you know when someone with the darker skin enters the room. Yes, and you can judge them uh, accordingly. Right. That's that's the problem. <laughs> and I don't think it's fair for uh, uh, there are uh, there are problems. And I think it's, oh yeah, uh, but this is a different type of problem. Yeah, yeah. It's, no. it's like on the most basic part of the brain. Yeah, because it's absolutely it's you can't get away from it it's so easy i guess Mm -hmm. to yeah to to teach somebody because it is like an idiot knows how to be racist yeah i don't it's (laughs) it's harder it's harder for an idiot to be really really like 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 how do you explain so many like uh because uh, we're talking about now with like uh, having the, the 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 time and looking mm. back in history and yeah. you know having um, a retrospective yes. of our lives. But it's how it, did it, so many intellectuals <laughs> believe in this uh, in this shit? Like proper smart people. Oh, it, uh, because again, I think it's first of all ingrained societal ingrainment, yeah. and also it has it has definitely a us versus them mentality, which generally especially if you're a king if you're royalty stuff like that helps your reign all right that's that's because, an interesting point because you get an enemy like for example again the austrian people super racist towards yeah. italians yeah. until literally 1980 or something mm-hmm. like that like but it's understandable italians come on <laughs> what have they done for yeah. us you know uh-huh. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just sitting around. They're just more useless Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Spanish you can le- at yeah. least use as target practice. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> they do a, their siesta outside. The Italians do. <laughs> so, <All right. laughs> okay. So, <laughs> your point is mm. uh, royalty. Because they create uh, like a reason for like the poor, stupid people to have a fight and exactly. not concentrate on the fact that the royals they get all get exploited, fuck yes. everything up. Yes, yeah. but here's the, the here's the thing that I want to uh, talk to you about. Where does it come from? Because like one, one of the sources I think is the the royal lineage. Yeah, because the royals it, have invented this idea of blue blood. Yeah, no, no right? it's, like it's, royal. It's, it's a yeah, specific it's a type a, of blood. Yeah, and it's fake. But that's yeah. racist. That's exactly oh, yeah. what racism is. Oh, yeah. We are better because we're a different type of people. Because, uh, yeah. like, uh, superficially, it's about skin color. But the, the actual problem at the core of it yeah. is genetics and blood. Right. Right? You are the wrong type of blood. You might have a blood that gets my children, that they're st- yeah, stupider, I mean, it's, they're it's, inferior. It's, it's, it's literally what right? J.K. Rowling, like condensed down to the mudblood yeah. concept it's it's a, 
I have to do it for it's on YouTube. I have to do it yeah. for the Gen Zers, yeah. you know. Oh yeah, they're definitely listening to up to this point. <laughs> they're still uh, here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm gonna put that <laughs> clip on the beginning, you know, like <laughs> right? Because that's where it comes from. Mm. And uh, before that, it's it's religion, not being part of a religion if your mother is not that religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, right? absolutely. No, no, all all the bloodline stuff and all that. It was useful when we were literal monkeys in the mountain, uh, yeah. in the in the in the in the in, in the African jungle. Probably monkey, not the best metaphor in this case. But they were literal. Yeah, I know what you mean. Physically, we were monkeys. Yeah. That is, and then later but we, we were never humans. monkeys because that's the problem. Because I still have people that tell me, "Well, if we evolved, why can I go to the zoo and still see monkeys there?" Who are not evolving okay, into yeah, humans? Okay, that's dumb. Okay, we are right. we, we are relatives of them. Yes, yeah. but and they are different. But we we have both the same pro pro yeah, progenitor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the progenitor is the important thing in this case, I think. Yeah. Because it's still like, oh, you got opposable thumbs. Yeah. That's neat. Oh, yeah. you can stand up slightly so you can see wider. Oh, you get a slightly bigger brain, and you get speech. Boom. That's that's like <laughs> all the important things to build a society upon now let's talk about uh, yeah. trans transgender rights and i think uh, oh it's really important to me <laughs> <laughs> literally important to me yeah. you, you only have two episodes of this show <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. that's honestly one of the few issues where i want to write a joke about but i can't because i'm so personally involved in this okay that i can't like trans rights in austria again have been a slog yeah to get through it's it's such a new thing for like the masses. Yes, yes, yes. It, to deal it, with. Even my mom, who's a third wave uh, hippie, mm -hmm. for her it took like a year to get around the concept mm -hmm. of trans. Like I, I bought her books. Like like here, read this. There's like, yeah. autobiographies of like transgender people from the twenties. Do you think because, that works? Because that again, that was a German thing. Yeah. The, that was the the first doctor that did proper scientifically based transgender research yeah. was in Germany in the 20s in the Weimar Repub Republic. Yeah. That's one of the things that Hitler burned down. Again, fucking monster, uh, fucking through that. We, we could, we could have, we could be so far in the, in the future already, especially when it comes to stuff like that. Do you not yeah. think that for every like new thing that is broadening our horizons uh, in terms of understanding who we are and mm. what people want to do uh, with their lives and how they feel inside and how they feel yeah. uh, in relation to the, to the rest of society and thing. Do you not think that um, telling people to read books is probably the worst argument? No, because my mom is really, really an insightful, smart woman. And in this case... Yeah. But in this case, I, like it, she wasn't like totally against the idea. Yeah. Like she just was for her, it was just hard to get wrap her mind around the concept. Mm -hmm. Like she already had like the first steps. Like for example, like again, that's 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 comparing apples to oranges. But just to get you a baseline, my parents when they had the sex talk with me, basically my dad was like, "Oh, and if you're gay, that's totally fine too. Like we just want you to be happy, yeah. you know." Mm -hmm. And then, so I I we already had a big jumping off point basically yeah. and and then it was literally just like no no you're just misinformed and that's just that's that's yeah. thing things you learned in university in the 80s because she did psychology back then and back then it was like classified as a mental disease yeah. and all that like crazy mental disease mm -hmm. like it was like yeah don't ever tell them that it's correct what they're thinking. Gender dysmorphia you know? or something like that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, now exactly it's body it's dysmorphia. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's, it's. So what? What is the yeah. argument? The the thing because for yeah. other things, it's I feel like the humanistic argument trumps everything else. Yeah. Like for every type of like civil rights right. that we've we've encountered so far, man, it's just another person. That's how they feel. They're not yeah. hurting anybody. It, they're uh, they're loving. Yeah, they're, they're and, 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 and I think that they, I feel they, like that's the best of, argument for everything. It, it, What's your argument for this? Transgender, the argument definitely is harder. Go ahead. Just, just from a from a um, base argument, because again, as you said, 
everybody else basically is already in the body that they wanted from the beginning. Yeah. You know, a gay person still wants to have yeah. a penis. Mm -hmm. Lesbian still wants to have a vagina, all that. And stuff. they're attracted to specifically someone yes, yes. that is a man or a woman. Yes, but and that's the thing though, and that's really what what I think I mean that's that's my personal experience. I've I've slept with trans people before. Yeah. I've dated trans people for a short while. And and just that fact of like, oh, you used to have a penis, now you have a vagina. And you're super smoking hot, and <laughs> like yeah. I don't feel anything like like you, there's a like because I, I mean for me it's also easy mode because I'm bisexual. Yeah. So yeah. even if you had a dick, I was like ah that's fine. I've seen that one before. Yeah. <laughs> but but definitely like the non-gay side in me was like oh this yeah. is smoking hot. My my some alpha male brain part of me wants wants to sleep with this person but and again uh, yeah. like it's not is it just about because i i think like sex is a oh, oh, sex. byproduct yes, of yes. a relationship yeah 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 yeah. the real reasons why people are in relationships are emotional oh yeah uh, they trust I mean, each sex, other sex of course it's, in, in it's a big it, part of it yeah, yeah. For, you you find for a most, hole for to most stick people. your the dinghy people, in or yes. your whatever you have, yeah. you know, to smoosh it against something else. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's about the the other parts of a relationship mm -hmm. that you know because sex it's it's done in like a few minutes. Oh, sure. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah if you if you if try you, hard you, enough, if you do it properly, it can last uh, hours. Whatever you tantric stuff, right? <sighs> but what do you do the rest of the day? That's the that's, thing. That's a waste of goods good right? time tantric sex i i, I don't agree with that concept it's we're in a society that has mcdonald's burger king and subway we're not in a society anymore you where you have to wait half an hour for the bellboy to check up on you, you so know? here's here's my <laughs> here's my take on this i've never had uh, the the uh, birds and the bees talk okay <laughs> no one no. took interest in really or had the guts to Talk in, to me in, about in, that. In conservative, <laughs> no rural Romania. It's like my mom once told me, like, uh, hey, I think you're kind of old. Um, and I can't book a rest also as rural. So, so this Romania. is what she, she, <laughs> this is my mom's, okay. right? Because she yeah. raised me, so right. she felt responsible to have the uh, a conversation, a talk. right? She's like washing, uh, like I don't know, like underwear or something, whatever she sure. was washing, and she goes like, um, she turns to me, and she goes like, you're uh, you're you're getting older now, just be careful. <laughs> That's it. That's ambiguous enough that she can <laughs> yeah. tell you that you fucked up afterwards at any moment. I told you to be yeah. careful. Uh -huh. No matter what she, <laughs> yeah, she yeah. she's just covering all her bases. Yeah, yeah. 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 I so get that's it. that's what I got, right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, but then there was uh I think uh my uncle told me once that uh like uh just keep in mind that you know, sex is good, but afterwards you need to talk. Because what? How do you feel the rest of the time? <laughs> right? You just need to <laughs> amazing have someone that you can have a conversation with. Sure. Someone that you know it's that's the limit of what he explained, like conversation. Mm. But I think that's that's the thing, man. If you get along with someone right. and you want to like live in the same place with them, yeah, go for it. But isn't yeah. that like a clearer argument than well biologic? Because I feel oh, like yes. biology is, yes. is like yes. getting into but, people's but lives. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I and we I, don't I, understand what we are as human beings. I feel like the categorization of of course the golden rule should just be, be don't be a dick. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Don't unless, uh, and, unless and as long as unless you're a lady that wants to be a dick, then go for it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Especially now that they've grown dick lookalikes nowadays yeah. on like a dude's arm mm -hmm. they did that now like a dude's dick fell off in britain <laughs> and there you go i don't know yeah Probably. he had like a crazy infection in his dick and it like literally turned black oh, and yeah. dropped off and then they like grafted a, like a skin thingy yeah out of his arm and like after six months or something like that like yeah. he had a yeah uh, like had a, had a proper dick yeah and but the thing is like you need a pump and everything yeah all right I mean, better than nothing. We're, we're getting there. So, right. Isn't yeah. that the, 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 no, no, the argument the for any the ar relationship in the no, world? The golden rule, again, 
They just shouldn't be leave, children, just leave, and they should yes, have, obviously be a good conversation. Whatever and, you're and, into, and shouldn't have uh, mental disabilities that make them children. Well, that's that's a different conversation to be had. They, in general, if if somebody with like severe Down syndrome yeah. has sex with like if somebody takes advantage of that person because of their disability, that's a crime in my eyes. If they just have sex, that's fine. So now, like, I feel like we've tiptoed around, like, <laughs> oh, this so is a many minefield. subjects that this, this is, is, is fucking minefield. now that you're... I'm just, I'm just chucking out, like, this is like Serbia 1997. So you can be I'm understandable like, for all sorts minefield. of other things. Huh? You can be understandable. But what about, like, where do you put the, the limit? Because there's really stupid people. Oh, yeah. No, 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 so, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, again, about people that need to have... a like a state appointed caretaker. Well, what and if these the caretaker persons, uh, no no and these persons can have sex again. Yeah. But it has to be with a professional. A, what? Like a prostitute? Yeah. Properly what? done. Because what if their caretaker falls in love with them? Well, that's unprofessional on the caretaker's part and they should What, lose their jobs and then No, not lose their jobs, but definitely be replaced with somebody else. Oh, so then they can have the relationship Without them being hired to take care of... Yeah, exactly. Just be be, be in a relationship with that pe- person with Down syndrome if you if you don't work for them. If if of I course think, I think that's a that's a that's a breach of of course there is a thing that is taking advantage of someone with uh, like uh, a disability. Yeah, right. But if they don't. To them harm, don't cause them harm. No, no, I again, please. Because that's the, the, the only thing the, in a relationship. If you don't cause harm to your partner psychologically yes, or physically, yes. but just but, fuck whoever but, you want, uh, in, unless in, they're children. In a caretaker position, there's a there's a should be a, a, a general higher codex. And if you fall again, if you fall in love with the person, great. Yeah. What go, about Christopher go, go Reeve? Be a, go Should be a caretaker somewhere else. What if Christopher Reeve And then just fell in take love? care of that penis yeah. when you get home after work. What if Christopher Reeve fell in love with his caretaker? Or well, Stephen that guy Hawking? wasn't mentally disabled. He just fell off a horse and broke his back. You know, it, it's kind of stupid to ride a horse <laughs> yeah, in yeah, the no, first no, that place. Is, that's a downsy <laughs> move, definitely. <Right? laughs> You're Especially Superman, when you can your name fly. Superman is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you break your spine. That's yeah. that's that's a that's a lame ass moment. What? There must must have been a moment in Christopher Reeve's mind, like the moment he hit the <laughs> the, 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 the the stone or whatever yeah. that he fell on, the, like <laughs> the, hear the crack and then like, right. wait, I'm Superman. I have something closer to you. What yeah. if, what if Michael Schumacher? Falls in well, love with he's his literally a vegetable, yeah. so he can't give consent in any way. What if his caretaker is asparagus? <laughs> <laughs> Double vegetable? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like white no, asparagus. That, that, <laughs> that makes you feel that, better. <laughs> that sounds like a communist program. They're like, okay, we're gonna have literally the insane people be in charge of the insane asylum here. <laughs> Right? <laughs> we have, we've trained all those people. Because <laughs> in, in a leper colony, the guy with one arm right, is, king. is king. Yeah. Yeah. Still my favorite quote from Minority Report. <laughs> what? Is this? What? Uh, in, in a world where everybody's blind, oh, yeah. the one eyed man is king. That's like from Greek mythology, I think. I know, but it's it's people now know yeah. it because of Minority Report. No, you know it because you, you don't read. <laughs> You don't read. That, yeah. is, that is so insulting to me. <laughs> I don't need uh, read either. I, I think, don't think. I, I think I have to. I don't. I don't. I don't like books. I don't think they're that great. I think they 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 suck. I think they really. I'm, they, I'm reading Old Man and the Sea right now. That's a that's a fantastic book. You can super short. You can come up with your own ideas. I think this is the most. This is the reason to stay alive is to figure out the world by your own. You know, all okay. these people that take courses for all sorts of shit, it's like, mm-hmm. do you know the people who invented those things? They There was they, no they course. Yeah, the, the, the masterworks or whatever they're called, for example. Yeah, those are all useless. Who, who taught, like, Mort Sol to do stand-up? I don't know. The, <laughs> he invented it. Her- Herbert Sol. <laughs> right? I don't know. Who taught, yeah. uh, like, uh, Woody Allen, Bill Cosby, 
you know, before the whole thing. <laughs> Bill Cosby was a master. That was so great. And no, no, I, I love the, uh, the the next ramp up would obviously be Harvey Weinstein, like how to make a movie studio. Yeah, but you know he, he learned that place. from you know uh, Louis B. Mayer or wh- whoever fucking yeah, ran yeah, yeah, yeah. you know a studio. Oh yeah, before. no, fifties no, no. and sixties Hollywood really gross, right? Definitely. Oh, yeah. can you imagine what the twelve hundreds were like? Uh, uh, Melies. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 went through you know that Oof. thing about the bullet in the uh, the eye of the, of the moon you know you know oh, he, shit. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, came the, up uh, yeah, yeah. with that when he had the his Chauvin thing yeah. yeah he had his penis stuck uh, he came into this lady's eye and he went like yes i'm doing that in the really? film yeah no that that seems apocryphal i i, I feel like that you <laughs> but isn't it like, funny if you because, say that because it is literally designed to make me believe it <laughs> it's like a, a that's an engineered why, thing because what is a book then someone's opinion written down yeah but some people have it, just fascinating it, it doesn't opinion. matter I, I love a good philip k dick book for example but then the problem is it, because it's written and down people so take it acid. as a testament hmm? people take it as 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 a thing like right. we might be uh you know in in the top percentage of smart people and the listeners and the watchers oh, yes. of this thing. no you are the real chats yeah. here but the rest of the people they read something and they believe it why do you think like propaganda works, works? so yeah i mean because well. it's short it, um i feel there's a difference between reading one have, sentence have you ever reading. seen 24 hour news tv no it's the, it's the worst yeah it's all it's 24 hour of propaganda there's no like news uh, short bursts of oh we're gonna sneak this one in no yeah, it's, yeah. it's all but of that's that all co- the time i, I guess that's uh, that would be more like a cacophony of of as opposed to like again i feel like reading does have its merit no i <laughs> but i, but, uh, I, I get, strongly disagree I get, I get your opinion i think that life is worth living if you try to figure it out yourself and make mistakes is fine as long as you know causing troubles to See, anyone i wanted to you to read my my, what my do you sci-fi think that, novel that i wrote as a 16 year old when no, i was edgy and thought it was cool why do you think uh, reading is that great because it was one of the ways of me to escape when I was bullied in, in school. All right. And where did you li- read that little gem? Hmm? Where did you read that little gem? <laughs> in the book on why it's good to read other books? <laughs> no, you thought about it and you made up an answer. That's what yeah. life is. Yeah. Okay. I see your point. <laughs> I see your point. But I still love a good sci-fi story. And most of them don't translate well on the screen. Yeah. But still... <laughs> Still, the Stop expense is better on screen. Think about the world yourself. Hmm? There's nothing else to do in the world, man. Like, we work all day long. And what do you do while you're working? What do people do? do everyone yeah. thinks about stuff. Everyone thinks about I mean, how to do that's things. That's a very generous generous assumption of the human race. That's what I want to believe that the, <laughs> to the be true? people are doing. Yeah. I mean, then... Uh, I mean... So I see people you, like... Go- Working in supermarkets, they're not thinking about what they're doing. They're thinking about something else. In their oh, mind. definitely. Definitely. Exactly. That's definitely. most people. I mean, I I worked in an office and I yeah. I zoned out, you know. Exactly. While, while filing, filing fucking documents. I think we're indoctrinated as children to, to trust um, uh, the written word. But it's just a random fucking guy. Who, who's Nietzsche? Just another guy. <laughs> Who's yes. Plato? A fucking yeah. stonemason. That's, that's what he did until did he was 40. Did ever read a book? Uh, yeah, I think people uh, uh, wrote for him. His wife was a doctor in uh, in sciences, and it, she didn't know how to say CO two, like uh, carbon dioxide. She didn't know because in <laughs> Romanian you can read it properly, like ah. chemically, but you can read it in a way where it sounds like it's a tail of a cat. Right, 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 right. Right. Okay. If you if you read it as in it's CO C, actually CO two in in Romanian, yeah. you're not supposed to. Say it like that. Okay. <laughs> but she didn't know the difference. But she had like fucking no words uh, right. in chemistry. And all sorts of people like were writing papers and she would sign them. And they would be hers. Huh. Yeah. Okay. How, how, Again. Uh, how, how, how is the, the chemistry business going in Romania? Well, my mom worked in the factory, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and she has... And, Zero and now, rashes. And, <laughs> <laughs> and now the whole factory is like, uh, uh, I think most of it is torn down and sold as scrap metal by various people, uh, subsequent yeah, owners yeah, yeah. Of, of, the, the, of the place. Just gutting the whole place. Yeah. Trying to extract as much resources out of it as possible. No, no. Yeah. Ah. 
good to live in the future, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Because sometimes I'm thinking, what are the things that we're missing right now from the conversation? Because there's a lot of like topics of conversation that we're having now that people 50 years ago would never even think that this would come into conversation. Yeah. Right? Like I mean, on the other side, we, we, we would have conversations in the 50s that would be unthinkable now. Like what were we talking in the 50s that we're not talking about now? Um, in, at least in Austria, uh, building, <laughs> a, building a nuclear power plant. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's still part of the conversation a little bit. Not in Austria. Not as Because strong we as that. literally have a, a law in our constitution prohibiting them from building one. Well, that's not that bad because yeah. you know. I mean, like, again, it was an Austrian. It, it's it's good because it was an accident. Because the thing is, we built our first nuclear power plant in the eighties, I think. Yeah. Uh, now we started in the seventies, early eighties. We got fini- uh, We finished on it, and our uh, chancellor at that point was like sixteen years in power, mm-hmm. S- crazy, crazy popular uh, socialist. Uh, one of my faves, definitely. Okay. Dude, dude did so much for education and, yeah. and workers' rights and reduction of like workers' hours and all mm-hmm. that stuff. Crazy track record. Knew how to employ the right people, knew how to talk to the press. But he also thought the one way to make Austria energy independent is through nuclear power. Mm-hmm. Not realizing there's no natural resource <laughs> to mine okay. uranium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing that makes the thing run. Mm-hmm. He, he just wanted, he thought that switching out from oil because of the oil crisis, yeah. he hated that. He wanted to uh, switch to nuclear power. And at that point, he was s- disliked enough that the natural preservation people and the conservatives and the people that were disenchanted with his politics. Yeah together and also he ran ran a big deficit because he didn't want people during the crisis the oil crisis to go unemployed he mm-hmm. just built more and more crazy and, so what's your point and the point is uh, he uh he put his like his life as a chancellor on the line saying either i leave we, we're gonna have a like a vote on the people and they're gonna mm-hmm. vote if we have nuclear power or not if it's a no I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Like he staked his whole thing on it. <laughs> it's like a girlfriend. Yeah. If, if you don't change, I'm gonna leave. Okay? I mean, he's, he stayed with them 16 years, you yeah. know, and they were ungrateful bitches. Yeah. All right. So it, <laughs> in this case, I totally get his yeah. reaction. I'm like, I did my life's work for you guys. You literally don't have to work 42 hours anymore. You only have to work 36 and a half or 37 and a half. Yeah. I was, you know, stuff like that, you know, like, I get why he was frustrated at that point. But also, dumb, dumb political move. Yeah. He said he would stake his uh, chancellorship, he would quit if, if it was a no. And since it was a no, it was automatically put into constitution level okay. as a law. And that there's that no more would, nuclear power plant. Yeah. But do you not think that uh, it's it's not worth it? Huh? It's It doesn't feel like it's worth it. Like, one one of them just going wrong and having malfunction oh yeah no no it's, it's so dumb in it's, central it's, europe no, 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 it's no, just fucking no, we, we, fucks up everything again again like in the sahara in the, there's not no desert one there this attack should just yeah. happen this attack yeah. has been uh like teased since what 2004 five yeah. something like that siemens and all those big companies together have like formed a new company called yeah. desert tech okay. it's like funded with like 200 billion euros yeah and all they need is a little bit more EU funding and especially... But is it solar powered or is it nuclear? It's solar. It's solar. Oh, yeah, it's of course. Solar makes sense. And, the, and the, that's why it's called Desert Tech because it's all northern African countries yeah. get solar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Italy gets solar. Greece gets solar. Yeah. And Spain gets... And Portugal yeah. gets solar. And then we just build infrastructure to pump all yeah. that energy up into the north. That's but it. That's all we need. That's all we need. And we're energy independent. We are, and if we would be a bigger nation, a, a bigger region that's interconnected and can't go to war with each other because we literally can, can just, yeah. Oh, unplug it. W- what are you going to power your factories with? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just depending yeah. on each other to a level yeah. where uh, it's, it's so integrated. Yeah, exactly. That's the goal. The weirdest thing about nuclear power that I f- Find found in my life is Bob Marley's <laughs> redemption song, <laughs> <laughs> where 
<laughs> where after talking about loving uh, as right. each other as, as other humans, he goes, no, no fear for atomic energy. <laughs> Because none of them stop the time. That. And I'm like, that's exactly what the bombs at Hiroshima and Nagasaki did. The, they yeah, stopped the time. time. There's fucking watches. Yeah, yeah, he did. At that the stopped. museum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> at the, I mean, the, the, the most the most gripping image is still the ones where they just have the photo of the shadows of the mm -hmm. people. Where oh, the bomb yeah. exploded and it yeah, just... and it's on the wall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Th those are the ones where I'm like, fuck, this is, this is crazy. Have you ever seen where the wind blows? Yes, it's an animation from yes. uh, uh, Britain from the 80s. I think so. Yeah, it's two old people in a boat and there's like a nuclear attack on Britain and yeah, yeah, yeah. they yeah, yeah. try to cover under like mattresses. I think we watched that in school, actually. Oh, my God. That's yeah. like it's like grave, that in Grave of the Fireflies, probably the most heartbreaking. <laughs> grave of the Fireflies. I, cra right. I literally watched once. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. like, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. This is an amazing movie, but I can't watch this. It's. Too it's, much. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. 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 I mean, all of those. I mean, there's this. Uh, the one with Schindler's, the animals. Schindler's yeah, list is the same for me. Yeah. Yeah. I can't re. Even though it's like a fucking Hollywood pop fest yeah. and schmaltz, like extra laddered with schmaltz, but it's still a fantastically made movie and so gripping. I mean, I watched it twice actually. I but think once because it was in school and it was on a shitty CRT. You okay. Know, we still had yeah. those roll those TV thingies in, and then <laughs> there's the West. <laughs> I know. It's in in chemistry class in in Romania, we had like I think 15 test tubes, like <laughs> not enough for all the kids. So the the <laughs> teacher only no what share <laughs> the teacher share. the teacher did the experiments, and we all watched, and that was it. I mean, that's good enough, I guess. He, he, there was enough material that he could do the There was test. no TV in the school. Come on. <laughs> it, it was the same lab that my mom went to <laughs> when she was it's in school. The, it's, a, it's, actually, it's a euphemism. The school is actually the factory floor of the chemistry plant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good point. The chemistry plant was just down the road. And no, they could, really? <laughs> yeah. And they couldn't I go there to get... Communism. I love communism. I this love is post-communism. Like so yeah, that's why the things thing didn't work. Yeah, but thing was built during communism, yeah, I'm yeah. guessing. And the, just that planning style of, oh, people can't use public transport because public transport is too expensive to really build out, like, properly, properly. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to all do, like, factories that are close to the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it good for the quality of air or water or soil? Ah, who cares? It's close so that the walking distance is not people, too, too, too that, bad. So we don't have to use too much oil or electricity. Yeah. But so <laughs> people who are nostalgic, what they do is my hometown after the communist, uh, uh, the, the communist block was uh, dismantled. Mm -hmm. uh, they built uh, like the, the, the new uh, oligarchs basically took advantage of the old, um, the old system because the buildings were there. So they just turned them into something else. Right. right? Yeah. One of them uh, built a, a pig fa farm just outside the town and all summer long. The whole oh, town no. smells of fermented pig, pig shit. shit. Oh, God. Yeah. So is that better than uh, uh, chemical waste? I don't know. I mean, that is chemical waste. You just replaced it from one thing to another. But see how the conversation changed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. my God. All right, Victor. Um, this, okay. has been, uh, uh, this has been interesting. Yes. There yeah. was a... Uh, Definitely like, a marathon. It, it's like we had the conversation. Yeah, first of all that. And second of all, we also we also uh, sprinted through it because you have to leave next tomorrow. Yeah, but um, really, should should we go in depth? <laughs> no, no, but you, 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 we're in the plugging things segment now. Yeah. And you, I, you should, I think you we, should. we seemed uh, so clever because we just... Oh, it's two dealt white with guys the chucking surface. each other yeah. off uh, yeah. for an hour. This was, yeah, yeah. That's what this was. <laughs> Like, do you know this thing? Yes, I know this thing. Ah, yeah. oh, yes. <laughs> it is one of the most satisfying things, right? Yeah, that's what conversation is. <laughs> it's one of the most satisfying things? Yeah. Mm. See, is that in your top five? What? To bring it back. That's what we started with. Yeah. You asking me my top five. Yeah, and you said Bill Burr. Yeah, that's it. and that's what, what we stopped at. And I think that's fine. I think yeah. that's enough for a top five. One yeah. person. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's... You'll 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 need to answer uh, all the questions because I feel like your audience. Also, you're coming back. Is gagging for the answers. 
Who's gagging for the answers? The audience. Oh, yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Me, you. again. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe my wife, if she's really nice. <laughs> oh, life's going well. Yeah. Um, no, but seriously, plugs. Where yeah. can people find you? What What do you have planned? This is going to be dropping next week. So yeah. start of October. People can see me at the store. You know Mitch Hedberg's <laughs> joke about. <laughs> I love that that uh, introduction. Are you re- <laughs> the that next is comedian? The re- most Romanian thing ever. You just re- first of all stealing and yeah. then recycling a joke. No, I'm co- I'm You're quoting like him. I'm not stealing the his joke. Pipes. You're like okay, I'm not quoting. stealing his joke. Yeah, I'm quoting, quoting Mitch Hedberg. Quoting a joke, yeah. but then that's still recycling. Argo, yeah. he's dead now. Argo he's not going to do it anymore. <laughs> That's fair, right? I heard that there's a uh, comedian in the states who uh, is doing uh, Bill Cosby's material. Really? As a, as yeah, as like an artistic kind of. I mean, that's thing. funny. Yeah, that's funny because he can't do it. Yeah, yeah. and it's great material, <laughs> right? Like so good that Carlos Mencia stole it. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah, and, and so good that it uh, made people turn a blind eye for thirty years. Yeah. Yeah. If Hitler was only a good painter. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like if he, he was a fantastic yeah, painter. He painted he wanted to paint the <laughs> eyes. Yeah, like, oh, he's occupying Poland, but Stalin got a really nice painting. Yeah. And he's like, I can't be mad at that dude. See, George Bush knew what he was doing. That's why he took a painting. <laughs> Oh fuck! Uh, yeah. See, nobody remembers. Yeah, he did it in the uh, right order. He did it in the right order. Yeah. yeah, that is true. First to the war crime, mm-hmm. then paint. What do you remember? His feet sticking out of uh, the 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 bath water. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Victor, where can people find you? online i yes. don't know just uh, i'll put links down in the description obviously like, uh, but people uh, ask me for the business card and i think like that's the the wankiest thing ever so what i've started doing is i get a, a business card is a nice thing no, it's it's wanky it's super wanky but yeah but wh- why see, is it not nice do you know what people need just my name so i find like a napkin I mean, or but, something but i write my name down and that's it just and, google that and, and that's you'll find why it. <laughs> that's why people can find you because yeah. ha- i assume my your, name your is gonna name be has, has like three extra letters in there i assume my name is gonna be either in the description or in the title of this so just google that and You're that's the it father of the trash can pa trash can mm-hmm. ah. yeah like it there's mm-hmm. ma trash can yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little trash can Wow! Ah, yeah, Liter- l- little trash can, little trash can. Yeah, little yeah, yeah. Trash can. D- yeah. That's L-E-L. that's my rapper name. <laughs> little trash can. <laughs> <laughs> little trash can X, <laughs> <laughs> featuring the Italian Italian rapper Ciao Ciao All right, that's going to get a bit too far. <laughs> It's my favorite. Yeah. I did that. I did that uh, pun in front of yeah. an, uh, uh, half. Uh, I, f- half I think in front of Radu Isaac. Half blood. Yeah, and he was mildly entertained. Oh yeah, go and uh, look for Radu. He's yes. he's fantastic. He's a okay, really fun guy. Yeah, plug his stuff. Exactly. Uh, uh, Raduisak two dot com. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who goes Radu Isaac one? <laughs> he. he. Oh, has he just it. has two. But that's the main one. <laughs> So if you type in raduisak.com, it goes to (laughs) raduisak2.com. Ah, it has autodirect. Yeah. yeah, Redirect. Oh, that's Mm -hmm. nice. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Um, This has been Pult Palava Paradise episode two with Victor Patrashkan. Going home to visit his Ma (laughs) Trashkan. All right. Enough jokes about my name. It's literally like a micro, like. It was either you're gonna stab me, <laughs> or this is like okay, this is mildly interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Victor, for being on. Uh, uh, this this has been uh, a, a conversation I mean, we are, that we're, we're uh, fading out of this slowly. Yeah. So the the people are gonna see us stuck and dark over time. I feel like this is a I normal conversation that didn't need the recording, but you wanted I know, to. So, I know, yeah. but, but you know, if 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 I can get uh, if I can exploit a, a Romanian for free content, I'm mm-hmm. gonna do that. At least uh, it's not the West Indies. What, uh, what is it? <laughs> East India Company? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did it's the Austrians like have their tentacles? The Austro-Hungarian Empire? Like, uh, just 
in Romania, literally. Yeah, with Transylvania. <laughs> but you what else? Out calling me. Uh, then, I mean, we had... Like China. African or uh, Asian? Oh, we didn't do a lot there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we, we kept most of that stuff to ourselves. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We, we, Underachievers. We, see, no, because we wanted to be racist towards Italians, you know? Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We thought that other white people should be All right. less superior than us. Is, is that Switzerland? Like racist, really racist Austrians. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. turbocharged Austrians. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, bye. Bye. <laughs>